Hi, Stevie Lynn here. It's been really hot lately and I've been making these cooking videos. My husband has been complaining <laughs> about how hot the house is because you know we're having a heat wave right now. Um, and so tonight I told him I'm not gonna use my gas stove and I'm gonna try and make something while keeping the house cool. So I've been really, 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 really craving tacos. Specifically, I've been craving potato tacos. It's just like I need the carbs or something. So I'm going to make a meal using my Instant Pot and my air fryer because I want crispy tacos. I've never made these before. I don't know if they're going to turn out okay. I don't know what it's called, you know, when you can envision something in your head, but I, it's, not, it's not envisioning. I can taste it in my head. I can in taste it. <laughs> what I really want is like potatoes and spice and tanginess. So I'm using tomatillos, potatoes, onion, garlic, and since I have this zucchini, I have like the zucchini that I didn't use. I have good zucchini in there. These are the jalapeno. I'm using leftover onion. Kind of a lot. I have to put it in a bowl. But it's my leftover onion. I want to use them all. And you know, honestly, you can never really use too much onion. Like it reduces down so much. And if you saute it, I don't know, you just, it's like something that you can't, it's really hard to go overboard with the onions. Raw onions, different story. And I'm going to be doing them with these, the sprouted corn tortillas, which I'm going to have to get them real soft. I'm a little worried that these aren't going to work, but these, were the only tortillas that were at my co-op. I think if I microwave them, they will get soft enough and then I can air fry the tacos. What else? Oh, and something I never do, I got some fake cheese. <laughs> so I did a little short where I tested the meltability of this. I wanted to see if it was gonna melt for my tacos because what I really wanna do, this might be a challenge, today, given that I'm doing it in the air fryer. But I really like it when there's just cheese on the edges of the tacos, tacos and it's like crispy and crunchy. I think this will actually be perfect because it's stickier and kind of crunchier than real cheese. Although it doesn't taste exactly like real cheese. Like you really get a big dose of nutritional yeast. If you're into nutritional yeast, you'll like that. I'm, you know, kind of into it, but kind of not. What it really tastes like to me are goldfish. <laughs> I don't know, like it's not real, but it fits the bill for the most part. I'm not gonna be like just noshing on this straight out of the bag, that's for sure. Chopping up some onions right now. And what I plan on doing, in fact, I should start it right now. I should probably start heating up my potatoes while I am preparing my ingredients because that just makes more sense in terms of time. So put a little salt in there. I guess that's probably about a teaspoon. And then I'm going to, I guess just do soup broth. I don't know. I need, I'm gonna saute it. That's what I'm gonna do. Saute it. Saute it, we'll get it good and hot. Okay, so I've got my onions. I'm gonna saute those later. Okay, so I'm going to use two jalapenos. I kinda wish I had more because I like it spicy. We're just gonna throw that in a big bowl here. We're not really being chefy tonight. We are trying to satisfy a craving and get it done fast. I want that comfort, I want that crunch. I will leave the garlic out because I like to bring that in a little later after the saute, just because I don't want it to burn. We did about six Yukon Gold, little small potatoes, and we're doing about four tomatillos. You just peel them like so, if you've never worked with a tomatillo before. They are delicious, they're very tangy. It's not like a green tomato. It tastes more intentionally tangy, where a green tomato just tastes a little unripe. I'm going to dice these. Just cutting around the stem. Today I went thrif thrifting and I got this for $7. So this is really special because my mom had this. And isn't she pretty? <laughs> Hi, Michael. Hi, beautiful. <laughs> I just, I just want you to see the beautiful things he's been making. 
So he made this. Isn't this beautiful? He just he, started working with wood probably within like six months. And he's doing so, so well. So y'all know that we live in North Carolina, right? But we're not Southern. We're not Southeastern. We're Southwestern. And we used to live in New Mexico up in the mountains. And this is a juniper from a juniper tree that he got from our homestead up there. We used to live off grid, but he made this. Is this not incredible? So beautiful. I know this is not a wood show, but I'm just, I'm so proud of him. He just works really hard. We got the onions and the jalapenos. We've got the tomatillos. I'm going to crush crush smash some garlic yeah i'm gonna smash the garlic just like you should be smashing that like button <laughs> i'm not doing anything big i'm not making a paste i'm just gonna smash and do a quick mince so i forgot to mention we're also adding the zucchini i forgot to cut it i'm gonna actually cut it smaller than the everything else. I actually kind of want it to disappear. I, I just don't want the zucchini to be very prominent in this. Basically what I'm doing is I'm hiding vegetables. <laughs> so the potatoes are almost done and I'm going to drain them soon and mash them. I'm gonna actually mash them with a little bit of Miyoko cultured butter. I'm thinking about putting a little bit of these lentils, these Peruvian lentils into the tacos too, just to add more protein and I actually saw one of these potato smashers in like a meme on Facebook where they were talking about old things. Do you remember using one of these? I still use one. I never knew they went out of style. Salt cellar by Michael. We're going to mix this up with everything else too. A little olive oil. Some zucchini in there. We'll just allow that to get a little bit of a caramelization. Tomatillos. We're not going to put the, the lentils in here. That's going to be separate. Put a little oregano in there too. Quarter of a teaspoon maybe. And then I'm going to put just some water in here. To let everything kind of turn saucy. I've been simmering this for about 10 minutes but I want to simmer it down until, until the tom tomatillos and the zucchini totally break down. Smash some of it. <laughs> so the sauce is almost done. We have about two more minutes and then I'm gonna combine it with the potatoes. It's almost show time. So we gotta get our sprouted corn tortillas soft. So I took a flour, a flour sack cloth and got it wet and I am going to microwave them. Wrapping it in a wet flour sack cloth. We don't do paper towels here, just like this. And I'm going to put it in my microwave for about, I don't know, we'll start with two minutes, but I have a really old microwave and it will probably be quicker for you. <laughs> and we're gonna put the potatoes in here now. Let me turn it off.
So the taco shells are kind of curling a little bit. I've actually flipped a couple of them over, trying to get them flat. I think it's these taco shells. It's these sprouted <laughs> corn ones that are super healthy and super whole. It's like a very whole food sort of tortilla. They're wild. They do their own thing. So I couldn't get them crispy on the edges, or at least not as crispy as I wanted, but they still came out good. Mmm. Hot. But, really mm-hmm. So good. Really good. <laughs> it was a success! Yay! Thank you so much for joining us today. It was a real pleasure. And if you enjoyed this video, if you made it this far, <laughs> and if you enjoy whole food, plant-based, gluten-free slash wheat-free recipes, then don't forget to follow me and like and subscribe. And I think subscribing is the same as following Instagram girl here. And um, yeah, and hit that bell button so you'll be notified when I upload new videos. Bye.